Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I'm from executeautomation.com and welcome to part 20 of our C Sharp for Automation Testing with Advanced Video Series. And in this video, we'll be talking about link and its awesomeness with where condition. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 19 since in that part, we were discussing about link in an introduction and a nutshell. And also we did a select query and saw how we can retrieve the data from a collection of data. So that's why I would request you to please watch that particular video before watching this video. All right, so let's get started. Where statement. So in our previous video, we were using the list of users collection and we just selected the users with a name or the complete users as well. But let's say if I want to select a user whose age is like 40, then you can do something like this. So from user in users, which is the collection, where user dot age is equal to 40 and then select the user whose name is going to be something like Kartik, Sam or Jacob, whatever user satisfy the particular condition. So basically the Sam is the user who's going to satisfy the particular condition. So it's very, very straightforward and simple. But what if there is a huge collection, let's say there are hundreds of records and you want to sort or get all the age whose uh, range is between uh, 40 to 50, you can do that. Or if you want to select exactly an user whose age is like 40, then probably you can do that as well. So that's where the where statement is very, very helpful. So let's quickly see this in action and understand how things work. So for that, I'm going to flip to Visual Studio. All right, so this is the same project which we were working in our previous video and we were selecting the name of the user using a very, very simple uh, query expression as well as the method based expression. But right now I'm going to select a user whose age is 40. So basically it's going to be Sam. So in order to do that, it's very, very simple. All I'm going to do is I'm going to reuse the existing code. And here I'm going to just to put this where you can just tell user dot age is equal to 40. Now it seems more like an SQL query, right? It's like SQL query, there is no change, but basically it is a C sharp query and behind the scene, it is actually running a extension method. So it is gonna form this particular piece of code into a method based expression, but this is for readability purpose, Microsoft has created and query based expression. Right, so I'm just going to come on this particular piece of code, and now if I try to run this line, and you can see that it is going to return as C sharp user, and the reason is because we are selecting the users, just user alone. So maybe I can just use name, and now if I run this particular piece of code, you can see we get a Sam there. So that's how we can get the user whose age is 40. And let's say we have another user whose age is as also 40. So Sam and Jacob are going to be 40. Now, if I try to run this code, you can see the Sam and Jacob are coming. So this is how you can perform a where operation using a query based expression. And if you want to do the exactly the same thing using the method based expression, all you have to do is pretty much exactly the same thing. You have to select a user, but before that you need to do a where condition. So basically you can just do like this. So where x says that x dot h is equal to 40 and then you can select an user with that particular type, right? So this is the code that you can write. And now if I run this particular piece of code, you can see that we get the same result, same and Sam and Jacob, right? So this is how you can do using a method based expression. And this is how you can do using a query based expression in the C sharp. And you can see that it is very, very straightforward and simple this time. And you can see that whatever we do as a chain of methods, it is performing the operation because of the extension method. So basically everything you can see in the link extension method to perform the particular piece of operation, right? And right now it is doing everything using what is called as a lazy loading while you do a for each loop here. But if you want to do a very quick loading or fastest loading before, without evaluating the particular piece of result, then basically you can just do a to list to do the particular piece of operation. And once again, 
lazy loading and without lazy loading all those important concepts are very much helpful for developers but for testers i don't think we really encountered those areas for now but it is important that you also understand there is something happening behind the scene for, on that while we talk about select many and uh, we talk about projections we understand how those things are being addressed so that's it guys once again this is how you can perform the operation for the word condition you know next video we talk about select all and understand how things work so that's it for now thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day